26. I'm Abigail Blackrick. Today we're learning the art of fly tying. We're at the Carl T. Johnson Hunting and Fishing Center in Cadillac. I'm joined by John Sakrasek. John, what is fly tying? Well, fly tying is simply something that uh, a lot of people do so they can create their own lures to track the fish they're trying to catch. What's the benefit of using the flies versus buying your own or not using them at all? Uh, the benefit is you get to tie your own, you have your own creations, plus in the long run it can be less expensive. Great. So here at the Carl T. Johnson Hunting and Fishing Center pretty soon, you guys are going to be offering some classes to teach people how to fly ties. How can, you, how can they get more information about that if they'd like to get, be a part of those classes? They simply need to contact me. Um, and my home phone number is 231-775-3546 or my email jmzak at att.net. And can you tell us a little bit about those classes, what all will be in store for those participants? The class runs the month of February, Wednesday evenings, 7 to 9 p.m. here at the Carl T. Johnson Center. We start out with very basics for the first class and each week progress to usually two different flies which um, use different techniques and methods of tying so that way the individual learns something new each week. Terrific and here we have lots of flies that you have created previously and we're actually going to kind of get a lesson right now um, over here so can you kind of show us a little run through give me a little lesson on flying ties how can you do that tying or flies. tying flies <laughs> yes thank you. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to tie a real basic fly called a woolly bugger, and most people is, that are associated with fly tying um, are familiar with it, and a lot of people that even aren't associated with fly tying that know about fly fishing are associated. One of the most commonly used flies and one of the most versatile flies. So what I just did was I just put the hook in the vise, and we're going to attach our thread to the hook, and we wind it back a little bit. And we are going to take a feather, and these feathers all ca are called marabou. They are simply a dyed turkey feather is what they are. And this is going to uh, be the tail of our fly. And this is kind of a finished product here, what it will look like when it's all done. So I want to know a little bit more about these classes. What inspired you to want to start offering classes on teaching well, how to tie flies? Well, the Mackinac Trail Fly Fishers was formed here in Cadillac about um, 35 years ago. And it's a lot of people have an interest in fly tying, but they really don't know where to get started. Or they, you know, they know somebody that used to tie flies, like usually they anyway, their mm -hmm. father or their grandfather or an uncle or something along that line. And it is just to get people a little more interested and active in the sport of fly fishing. How much are these classes going to cost? These classes are free. Uh, we provide all the uh, equipment and materials if a person does not have any of their own. If they would like to join us for the class, um, they just need to contact me and uh, you know, then I can t tell them, you know, I talked about what material or what um, equipment, if they have any, uh, we recommend they bring their own because that, that's what they'll be using anyway. But we right. will provide all the materials. And all the materials are provided free of cost to them. Right, right. Who all is the class available to? It is available to anyone with an interest in fly tying, from the very basic beginner to anyone that uh, maybe has tied a little bit but would like a little refresher. And... Um, and so we have, uh, you know, varying stages of uh, abilities in the class, but it's geared somewhat towards the beginner or the advanced beginner. Now, I just finished tying what we call the body of the fly, and, and now we're going to wind the hackle. These classes, you said that they're going to be offered every Wednesday starting in February. February. Do you think that they will extend further on if, if they're widely accepted? It's well, probably not past the first week of March, maybe. Um, we had them scheduled for four weeks in February, um, beginning February 3rd. And then depending on how the classes go and if we have to postpone a class or anything because of weather, we may extend it into uh, the first week in March. But we, our club has regular monthly meetings, the Mackinac Trail Fly Fishers, where we focus on some aspect of fly fishing and anybody is more than welcome to you know, come to those meetings also. They don't have to be a member of the club too. Terrific. 
John, can you tell me a little bit about the Mackinac Trail fly fishers and the Pine River Area Trout Unlimited? The uh, Mackinac Trail fly fishers was formed about 35 years ago here in Cadillac. It is a, affiliated with the Federation of Fly Fishers, which focuses primarily on fly fishing and fly tying. Okay. Uh, the Pine River Chapter of Trout Unlimited was formed here in Cadillac about 30 years ago, mm -hmm. and we focus primarily on cold water conservation. So we, it's a little different focus, but we are focused primarily on our course on, on fishing. And those are the two groups that kind of got this whole class started on right. fly time. Right, exactly. Terrific. And so do we have the woolly bugger here all that, complete? That is the woolly bugger. Now, the woolly bugger was initially tied to imitate what we believe is a leech. Oh, terrific. And it can be tied in any color from white to black and any mixture in between. Aw, yeah, it's kind of a cute little guy. It is, yes, <laughs> yes. It can be tied, you know, larger and smaller depending on what you're trying to catch. All right. John, can I get that phone number one more time in case anyone's interested in learning how to tie flies? It's 231-775-3546. Great. Thank you so much. In Cadillac at the Carl T. Johnson Hunting and Fishing Center, I'm Abigail Blackrick with My News 26.